you to the blue area of the moon. An area that, for some reason, you can breathe without a spacesuit. Nearly kills everyone around her just by yelling stop, while Tony Stark builds a magical transformer to attack the phoenix. There you go, Marvel's out of ideas. There's only one scene with the gun, no one actually gets shot. Rebooted into a more uh, grimy character with the new 52. Welcome to another Comic Pal video review. Um, a few weeks ago, um, I reviewed Gotham City Sirens um, number 20, um, which was um, the first of three issues that I was missing in my Gotham City Sirens collection. Um, I had all the previous issues in the trades, and I had all the subsequent issues as single issues um, until the series was canceled, along with the um, arrival of the new 52. Um, this time around, I'd like to take a look at issues of Gotham City Sirens, issues number 21 and 22. Issue number 21 picks up right where we left off in the last um, last review with Harley facing off with Aaron Cash, um, trying to get to Joker so she can kill him after all that he's done to her. It's a great resolution of one of the biggest threads throughout Gotham City Sirens, which is, will Harley finally be over Joker? He's abused her so much. She's got her um, girlfriends as um, support. Can she make it? And so um, as she, uh, she faces off with him, she reveals um, the evil thing that Joker did to Aaron, which is that he killed one of his babies with tetanus. Uh, once again, the artwork um, takes advantage of some really awesome uh, gutter work with the frames with all the frames of that page looking like a nail and uh, basically reveals that um, Joker's pretty evil guy he's very long ways away from the silly depiction that he has in a lot of the older media you know he's really um, not just out there for the laughs he's really an evil evil person and uh, you know um, <clears throat> perfectly willing to kill babies um, so um, what I really thought was um, very interesting is how when Harley sees Joker, she has a flood of memories coming back, and I really like how the artists depict those memories. Um, I saw that they included um, Grant Morrison's um, story that had come out about, I don't know, somewhere within a few years of, of this comic where um, um, Joker um, decides to try and kill Harley uh, in order to prove to Batman that he's a different person now and he doesn't need her and so on. And uh, I, the way the artist shows her memory is just going to nothing. You know, the fact that that Joker was so mean to her is so clear at first and, and the way that the artist shows that it becomes less and less clear as she just falls from over again is just amazing. Uh, that issue um, is definitely a, a 5 out of 5 and it's it's a perfect cap to that um, story that they were telling about her. And um, the next few issues are basically how, why the girls break up and, and separate. Uh, pretty unfortunate. And again, it, um, I think I mentioned this last time, it felt a little forced. Um, it felt like they had to do it because of the New 52, not because of it was a natural evolution of what was going on with the dynamic between the girls. Although they were always uh, fighting and there was always the um, mistrust of Selena because she knew she was so close to Batman, who was, of course, their mutual enemy. Issue number 22 is not included in um, the trade that I'm missing. And there's a good reason for that. It's only in Gotham City Sirens because apparently that was the only Catwoman book at the time. Because it continues a story that started, or at least uh, was previously in Red Robin. And um, it has to do with Ra's al Ghul and um, some mystical people, crusaders, and they're doing some test on... Um, Selena Kyle and their her sisters involved and I it was uh, I'm sure the issue was great if you were following along that Rachel Ghoul story but um, as part of Gotham City Sirens it's a huge interruption to the story and um, it, there's definitely a good reason why it's not included in the um, trade it really does nothing to further the story or have anything to do with anything um, and so that particular story I would give um, a three out of five only because um, 
especially with you know the the writers probably had a pretty good idea that the series was going to be ending around that time they could have really used that issue to um, help make things seem a little more natural rather than rushed at the end um, the way it ends so um, let me know what you think um, these these issues you know they all um, together with the one I, I reviewed before all form a trade and um, the trade just came out you know relatively recently um, even if these issues came out a while ago about almost a year ago now um, feel free to leave comments on YouTube on Comic Vine or Comic Pal wherever you happen to see the video thanks